just trying to get into the mood right now. As a reminder, the winner of this one will face Master Mario in Grand Finals. Yeah, Master Mario definitely looking really good. He is on winner's side for another, but Kier Flax is going to have to go through one more Mario in if he wants to make it into Grand, so we'll have to see how this works out. And Dark Pit will be choosing instead of the Rob, because Rob is the punching bag that Zenyu loves to use on the stream. Yeah, Kira used Rob in two out of three games against Master. Did not work out, only used Dark Pit in one, and perhaps that's where he looked his best, so he's going to try out the Dark Pit once again. Yeah, going to be on that Dark Pit, doing the best as he can. Dark Pit can do some stuff. He does have some disjoints and will be set to the edge. And also get stuffed out using an air of his own. But if there's one thing I would love Kira Fox to be careful of, is that, you know, a lot of times his Rapid Jets haven't been working out for him. Excellent continuation of the Nair into Fair, into the grab as well, extending this. Doing the best he can, but Zenyu, instantly that it was coming, but the Nair stumping out and the dash attack as well, flipping up, but the up tilt. Put more, a little more pressure, and Zenyu really struggling, and the shield poke is surely not going to help. Yeah, excellent recognition of just Zenyu held his shield up for a bit too long in the prior combo. And a lot of fast falling coming into play. It's really interesting to see because Zenyu is such a really, you know, no, heart to heart player. He's got this crazy in combos, and Kira being more than defensive, playing it safe, but oh, he tried to go for the bear. He really felt it, but he's going to get tons of combo knowing that the air dodge was coming. Great B reversal from Kira Flax to make his movement more confusing and make sure that it's completely safe using that shield. Has enough time to turn around before the grab as well and get that charge blood going. Zenyu sitting at 104, just a tiny bit of percent above Kira Flax. And with these backers, he's going to make it hard for him to get back to stage. Oh, look at this wall of backers and this pressure being exerted. And Kira Flax uses the bear, but it's not going to be safe at all. Forcing it out and so much coming into play, but unable to find it. Up smash misses, but Kira goes for the throw. Won't find its mark just yet. Excellent. And immediate punish. Almost got the two frame with that as well. Ooh. Attack. Zenyu tried to go for the reverse up smash, but unable to find it. He uses the backer, but a great tech coming into play, and he faded it out of the air, dodge like it was coming. Kira Fox takes stock number one, but how long can he hold on to it? Because, Mas because not Master Mario, but Zenyu, I should say, is just searching for that up smash. Yeah, if there's one player in SoCal that has wells of patience, it's Kira Fox. He knows when people are going to bait out air dodges. He knows when opponents are going to air dodge as well. But a perfectly placed backer places plants both of his feet into Dark Pit's face. Get away with it, but that Nair clips him on that roll. It's a right back, but that down air could have been punished. Pure Flex just gonna opt out, taking center stage instead. Yeah, doing the best he can. That Rap Jet finally working out for more damage. And there we go, that's another scenario where it doesn't work out, and he's gonna eat quite a bit of damage, 31%, but he's almost in optimal range for that down throw, and that's where the mix-ups really come into play. Trying to get him back to a point where he can extend off the platforms, but Kira having none of it. Okay, there we go. Catch the neutral get up. See him coming to cave, didn't come in time, and he clips the recovery, knowing exactly that was his biggest window of opportunity. Drops down with the fair as well, and this spot dodge once again. Kira gets the grab. Yep, and there we go. Great job by Zenyu. Clipping the shield now, and here comes the easy fake combos going for the fair for a little more pressure. Best. Look at this movement coming in. Use the down to once more. Such a nice reaching move from Mario. Ooh. Down throw into back air, and the fireball nearly going to be pushing him to no man's land. But Kira, its recovery cannot be understated how good it is. No, he's doing such a good job of the one, two into the down smash shield check. It's going to work out. Here comes the wall of backers. Ken Zenyu get this down, but he's going to shut out immediately. Hits him with the down to once more. Reading really through the option. But using the Nair once more, such a fast option for Mario to use, but no stock just yet. Back and forth again. Then you're gonna jump in the ledge and opt to go for the down air, but here we're just continuing to throw out some of these nairs. Back from not quite gonna kill, but oh it is! Yep, it's gonna kill. It went for the air dodge trying to get something down, but it just wasn't enough. Then you getting away with it. So close, and lands the falling up air. Only into one up tilt though. Just like that, Zenyu has clawed his way back into this one. Has to find some way to get a combo going. Uh -oh. That grab might just be it. Yeah, and gets the combo going. Tries to extend it further with the platform, but unable to find anything. A 10% lead, and he tries to do the one two, but Karen knew it was coming and instantly grabs him out of it. 87% on Zenyu, he's gotta be careful. But the up tilt with the window opportunity, surely won't kill just now. My goodness, it's getting awfully close. 
and maintaining his place, and that's when he wanted to go for Zenyu. He knew that Zenyu would go for the risky option first, and that edge smash was just enough to punish. Oh, the down air actually made him fall out and lands the grab. Four throws him right off, but this is the opportunity to use his flood for more distance, but here Flax is the master of patience, but Zenyu, he didn't hold shield long enough for it to shield book right through it. Either way, that's a saving grace right now, last stock. Last hit. Last hit of near connecting. Kira oh. not approaching first. Oh, he gave him stage control, but instantly hits him up with the disjoint. He's got to be careful. Forward throw near the edge can kill Mario. But he lands the down tilt once again. He's got to be careful. He's going to do the there. Oh, a great two from that meant to be a back air for sure. Yeah, back air would have ended the game, but that up air going to give Kira a second oh, lease on life. Oh, my goodness. Such patience coming in from both players. Such a tense situation, trying to use that down there as well. Look at this, he's pinned in the corner. Can he get up with the dust? That clips him just it. And Kira Flax takes game number one. And what, that is a master class from Kira from that entire game of fighting your way out of the corner. Don't go for anything too risky. Know that your opponent will eventually bite first. Uh, he knows the patience, and then you tried to go for it, but thankfully, here he's able to just clinch that out, but that was super close. After three games dropped to a Mario in Winner's Finals, it looks like he's finally got something on the board against this character. Dark Pit will be the character again for game two, looking to operate the same game plan and already getting things started with an early Nair. Yeah, and an Nair followed up once more. This is the struggle that Mario has to do in order to find his way in, but Zenyu trying to fight out of this Cyclone. Surely it is hard, because you can't even get to the eye of the storm trying to hit up Kiraflax, but Kiraflax weaving around perfectly in this scenario. Utilizing Pit's multiple jumps as well. The Dark Pit has those pretty much in every and ample opportunities to go for back airs in neutral. Yeah, lands something down. Great spot dodge at the up tilt. One of the Mario's fastest options out of the shield. And there we go. Down tilt lands into this perfectly orchestrated damage. A nice shield from Kira Fox. Breaking him out and both can reset right back to neutral. But instantly, Kira Fox pressing his advantage. You just get disadvantaged using the disjoints, I should say, in his favor. Excellent neutral get up into the grab. And the coin does hit him for a little more damage. Oh, he almost got it! Trying to go for another F smash, but the Nair catches him in the midair. Careful, he's got to be careful. That's a spike, but not enough just yet! Off into the grab. He'll go for the down throw afterwards. DI's out to avoid the down air. Great to swim play Nair used once more as Enyo. One day we'll get that two frame, but not isn't the, it is not the time. And the reverse smash takes stock number one. Zenyu taking that opportunity to recharge Flood. And that back air just going to harass him enough to the point where he backs off. Mm -hmm. And a great use of the down air, knowing it has a landing hitbox to be utilized. And there we go. Quick damage, 55. Rage Mario is very terrifying. And in and out, going to avoid the regrab, but that only left him one place to go right back into Zenyu's waiting arms with a grab. Oh goodness, Zenyu with the lead is absolutely terrifying. He's chasing Kira Flax down, and he caught him with the back air. That rage-induced one will send Kira right into the blast zone. Yeah, you do not want to mess with Mario with rage, and Zenyu taping him and actually oh getting the God. grab as a result. Kira Flax trying to find his way out, definitely recovers the flood. Doesn't come just yet, but Zenyu. Oh my goodness, here we go, the Zenyu combo, and we're all so familiar with, but doesn't like the fair, and he lands the second one coming down, but it's not upstage, it lied to us, Nintendo. Why would you do this to us? DI inward, I think Kira put himself in a, was thinking he was putting himself in a position to tech, but he actually landed on the stage instead. And Kira trying to play patient, but Zenyu, he's got the whole entire lane to work with, and dash tech even won't kill, it's across the stage. Here reverses the fireball to make it back, and uses that wall jump, wall but jump. the F throw. He's alive. Even with all that rage, gonna be living. And there's the two frame. Oh, he doesn't spike him on that one, but look to get out of there. Look at that arrow coming into play. Zenyu is so patient. He knows he's got a huge lead, so he can play around as much as he wants, I'm trying to use it in the reverse of what he's still alive. 192. Not even that aerial gonna be killing off the top. The point blank arrow. Zenyu's at 207 and still living. Yeah, but he baited out the air dodge knowing. Kiraflax trying to pull his movement up, and Mario is just simply just going to walk up, but how long can Zenyu hold on to this stuff? Oh, oh. is a spike up again? He's got to jump those great patience coming from him. There are... Oh! There's a lot of difference between the feet and where Kiraflax's hitbox was. Let me tell you, that there is humongous. Yeah, I, I think I disagree with that one, but the game does not care what you think. 
Mario's back air is huge and it is a nightmare to maneuver around, especially when you are in no position to re-grab the ledge. Got them big feet, I'll tell you that, you got them big feet. Minus two on shield, by the way, it's such a great move, but Karen Fox definitely gonna be thinking about that match because he got schmissed. And not only minus two on shield can be performed twice out of a short hop. Oh yeah. It's it's insane. Yeah, it's great. It is a one move edge guarding tool. Yeah, it's great. It is the Mario, but hop around to FD and definitely no problems for Zenyu to be able to extend his combos, which is definitely something Karen Fox had trouble with. Yeah, I'm very surprised actually that we're seeing this stage knowing that perhaps both FD and Talos were not banned. I mean, we'll see. Carefax definitely doesn't want a platform. So he's gonna hop right into FD. Great bait. Well, he should go for something. And that's a down air, but the up tilt attempt from Zenyu to go to anti air, but the air catches him out for a little more damage. And there we go, Zenyu. He finds his way around that one and playing around Zenyu. Pure Fox and Shield, I should say, but I would love to say both these players so such great patience. Yeah. Look at this, no one gonna be overcommitting in this area here. Zenyu just holding Shield, or Pure of Green Mile holding oh Shield, taken God. off the top with the down air. That's the low ceiling that FD has. You gotta be careful, and you gotta be careful with that DI because Zenyu instantly does a vibe check and checks out Pure Fox. He did not pass. Overcautiousness just cost him there. And Hero now going to be playing this one from the oh deficit right to the grab again. This ladder combo, he's able to escape after just one up air. Great Tomahawk coming into play, knowing that Kira likes the shield, and he actually crosses up the shield. That is not safe at all, my friend. It's up with the spike, knowing it wasn't off stage, but you want to get that maximum of damage. Using the wall jump to make it back instead of the ledge. Goodness, not down smash there, Kira. Let's calm down, but hits him back here instead. Then you. Saving that arrow back. It rolls back, but grabs in the wrong direction. Yep. And there he used down tilt. I love Zenyu's utilization of down tilt. Such a great move in the dash tag. Switching around the board. Kira definitely getting a little frustrated right now, but lands the back here. Yeah, not a moment too soon. Well, you heard him crowd. He said he's not losing, and he took off the headset. He is definitely getting to lose. He is vibing right now. Yeah, finally on the board with this one, continuing this. Unable to get the fair off of the air, but still in a good position. Yep, he's able to do so well, and lands the jab on here. Fox definitely getting heated up right now. Oh my god. Such a great Tomahawk coming into play in that fair. Comes out for a little more damage and lands a grab once more. Kira Flex is shooting a little too much. Using those multiple jumps to delay his recovery well and makes it back. That F tilt is going to push Mario to the ledge. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, he uses the down smash. I think up smash would have clipped him out for a little more. Great patience coming into play, but the Nair clip him out for a little more damage. That fireball as well. We'll make sure that Zenyu is safe and Kira Flex trying to get something down. He's got to avoid that up smash though. It's got his name on it. But back air is the one to be the one instead on the menu. Zenyu with a whole stock lead. Yeah, he was unable to get anything off of a parry off of that back air. You know it moves good when that is the case. And Zenyu all of a sudden, oh, the down air. He's alive. He had his jump. Yeah, great job. If there's one thing that Zenyu loves doing, he loves keeping his jump. And this time, going for a down air. And look at his damage. He's able to get it out, catching it out. And look at these tomahawks coming in. Zenyu is pressuring Kira Fox, knowing he's either going to eat a shield or a back air. But look at Zenyu waiting for the air dodge. He knew it was coming, but on him to find anything instead. Yeah, delaying the forward air in response to that, but Kira Fox just GI'd oh, and drifted out in time. Look at this. Perfect spacing by him. He knew he was even going to roll. He actually used the back air, but Kira Fox is able to shield it. Here we go. Oh, goodness gracious! There is no escape for Kira Flax. Zenyu with a two stock to take game three. And Kira, all of his patience doing no help to him there. No service and nowhere to hide. Yeah, got his wings clipped. My goodness. Zenyu on fire right now. We are potentially on Kira's surviving stock. And he's going to go back to the Rob. Yeah, Dark Pit looking like a fallen angel at the moment. It's going to prompt the switch back to the robot. Robo. And back on FDS right now. Let's go is right. We are bound to the final game. And right now, Zenyu is starting it off easily. He knows exactly what to do against Rob. He's been using him a punch back at every single time on the stream. And Kira forced to use his weapon to get away. Look at that combo zero to death by Zenyu. Yeah, that was only 12 seconds off. And 12 seconds, Kira's first talk already gone. Oh my goodness, Zenyu on fire this match. He is stone cold dead right now. Mr. Murderface himself, he got that combo off. You don't play Rob against this man, he uses him as a punching bag. Up air gonna continue the juggle, a second one to apply even more damage. And he's down tilt, but no trip up just yet, so he's gotta get away from it, but here we come. Oh, 
My goodness! Number two coming into play. Kiraflex is shook. Two fares, two stocks gone from Kiraflex. Only 67% taken from Zenyu. He is cruising his way into what looks like an Arl Mario Grand Finals. Oh my goodness, he's definitely in his head. Look at Zenyu, he's absolutely styling him right now. Desperate situation for Kiraflex. Landing there into the up tilt as well. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you really can't do anything else but laugh right now. Zenyu's just dominating this mm -hmm. game through the back air, finally able to make it back safely with the Nair. And yeah, Laser. that's what I said. Capes the arm know, as like, well. You don't just go against him goes because Zenyu uses him as a punching bag. Goes above with the fair one up tilt and one up air. Yeah. The latter of which is going to connect in oh the hard read. Lord. With the F-Smash to catch a landing, a three-stop for Zenyu to take this and take this set. He does in an emphatic style.